what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on Carrier Tech and today in this video I am gonna be reviewing the MIUI 10 8614 global beta build on Redmi Note 5 Pro. So without further delay let me make it happen. First of all if you are here just to see the new MIUI 10 features here is a card for you. This video is gonna be about my opinion about the first MIUI 10 global beta build of Redmi Note 5 Pro. As I do other ROM videos, you can check out the channel for more. Swiping from the left of the home screen, on top we have the Google search bar which actually uses Talk MIUI browser to search something on Google. And we have Google Assistant icon over here as we are using gestures these days. So it's annoying to open up Google Assistant every time with OK Google keyword. Then we have this football carnival option. From here, you can choose your favorite teams and stuff like that. Now let me show you the Google Assistant option. So as you can expect, it just simply triggers the Google Assistant. So let me just hit the continue now. As you can see, Google Assistant has been working fine over here. It perfectly works and we even have Google Lens over here which does work fine without any issues. Let me give you some demos. Here as you can see it detects my hand but it says looks like fingers so kinda correct. And let me show you the new music player app over here now. And right now if you tap on this far right icon on the bottom you have Hangama support over here. In case you don't have any offline music on your device you can search and play any popular music from here. Now let me just take a moment to show you guys the battery life of this thing. Well, frankly, it's much more than even a heavy user like me needs. As you can see, the last time I charged my phone was one day and five hours ago. And I used the phone moderately throughout this time frame, like browsing Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. I didn't play games though on this usage and it holds up pretty well as you can see. With 15 minutes of Vault calling and it managed to give around seven and a half hours of screen on time. So I'm not disappointed at all with the battery life and with that it still has around 25% battery left. So there you have it about battery life. Conclusion, it can definitely last you a full working day with even 30% or more juice left. The quick toggle animations are cool but I miss the toggle swiping feature which is actually present in China Beta MIUI 10. And one more bad thing over here, you can't edit or rearrange these toggles I guess because I couldn't find an option for that which I really really miss after coming from the China beta ROM. So now let me talk about the camera here. And here are some sample pictures and videos that I took quickly without HDR, with HDR, portrait selfie in indoor light but in daytime with contrast, saturation and sharpness set to normal. Again same conditions but with contrast, saturation and sharpness set to high. Rear camera picture without HDR. This one is with HDR. And for this one, stuff like contrast, saturation and sharpness was set to high. Normal picture, zooming in to give you guys an idea about the dynamic range. Same position but with HDR, zooming in again. Here is an example of a portrait picture of a flower. Zooming in, a portrait selfie in daylight, of course good lighting conditions here, zooming in. And now it's time for some video samples to give you guys an idea about the civilization. This one is shot with the rear camera and note that the max resolution as of now on stock MIUI camera is still 1080p. So yeah, you have to live with it, but I feel the civilization is quite amazing over here. I don't know if it's better than how it was. But yeah, it's really good enough if you're into shooting videos with phone cameras. And of course, every video I show you over here is recorded handheld. And all the focusing is in auto, I did not tap the screen to focus.
Now let me show you a video recorded with the front facing camera and I have to say the stability over here is good enough and the handling of the exposure is good too. So the camera quality is super usable up here as you just saw. One bug which is pretty annoying me for quite some time now which is about the read mode as even the android 8.1 based MIUI 9.5 had this bug. Well let me explain every day if it's after 6 pm on the evening no matter what your display will automatically become yellowish and even when the reading mode is turned off as you can see from here. So if I turn it back on. As you can see it looks normal. Why? Because I decreased the intensity of it all the way down. If you just increase that again, you will see your display will become yellowish again. So it's annoying that it happens to me every day on or after 6 pm and I have to turn the read mode off and on again just to make the display look normal. Performance is really good over here. The phone feels fast and snappy. Here is the app open up speeds if you are into that. But do note that the RAM management over here is not as good as the stable builds. If you open like more than 4 to 5 apps, expect all the apps to be reopened or removed from the memory and it had to reload again. But if you are working on less apps and you just switch between 2 to 3 apps, then I think it should be fine for you. But of course it will get software updates and it will be fixed with future updates pretty sure. And we have this kinda card like design in recent apps panel which I am actually liking. The animations got me but I might get bored again with MIUI 10 in the future let's see what happens. Switching between two apps in this ROM is really really easy now with MIUI gestures as you can see. I do use this feature from time to time. Banking apps works right away on this ROM so you don't have to worry about it. Here is a demo of face unlocking in low lighting conditions. As you can see it works fast and fine. Things like Vault DE and voice calls, Wi-Fi, data fingerprint scanner, every other thing is working super fine in this ROM so you don't have to worry about daily driving on this ROM. If you want to flash it, here is a card for you which will show you how to do that. If you are worried about software updates, in my frank opinion, I don't think it's gonna receive OT updates as of now. But what you can do is you can just download the new build whenever it becomes available and boot into TWRP, then wipe cache and Dalvik, then install the new build and lazy flash or zip, then reboot. With this method, you won't lose any data. Day to day performance is fast and snappy here and here is a demo of the gaming performance in this ROM. There was no mentionable freezes while gaming but there was minor like really little bit of frame drops I guess but that was quite bearable. Don't get me wrong the gameplay was quite fine and I hope it gets better with future updates. And here are the N220 Geekbench scores for this ROM. So conclusion, if you are willing to try out this MIUI 10 global beta build on your Redmi Note 5 Pro, I would say it's quite a daily driver even if it's just the first build. So you can definitely go ahead and flash it. So that wraps up this video guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit the big thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel right here if you haven't yet and if you like my work and share this video with your friends if you feel like it. So this has been it, thank you so much for watching, this is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll catch you later.